Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now for today's tutorial, we are going ahead and starting a new series. So Toy Story 4 was just released this weekend. So let's go ahead and draw Bo Peep. And I know I did a tutorial on Woody a long, long time ago. So we're gonna brush up on a tutorial on him the following week and then Buzz and then Forky and all the other fun guys. So, but let's start with Bo Peep because she was by far my favorite character out of the whole entire movie. So let's Let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and just lay out the basic shape. So we're gonna do a really hardcore um, three-quarter turn on this one because she's doing her power stance, looking off in the distance with her cape. Probably not gonna draw the entire body, but we'll just go ahead and draw what we can fit on the page as usual. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start with drawing her head. So we're gonna do basic head shape. See, I round it off and I kind of round off the bottom here. Next, we're gonna go ahead and bring down her neck. So one side here and then the other side here. And we're gonna go ahead and square off her shoulders. Just bring down this side, square off her shoulders. Round this way and then round off this way. So we're seeing more of this side of her head and her body as opposed to this side. All right, so we square off her shoulders. And go ahead and bring down one side of her torso here and the other side of her torso right here as well. Okay, then we got one arm coming out this way, so I'm just gonna circle back up into her torso. And then one part of her arm going down this way. And then we're gonna go ahead and bring out her hips. So one side of her hips going this way, one side going this way. Alrighty, and then this arm is kind of hidden more because her body's more turned. And bring out this lower arm as well. And then we have one hand here and then one hand right here just to find where that eye guideline's gonna go. All right, so one eye guideline here. Remember, this is a three-quarter turn, so we're seeing more of one side of the face as opposed to the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that nose line for that three-quarter turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and just mark off where her nose is gonna go. So I'm gonna go ahead and it's not going to be that wide because it is a very small nose. So for her eyes, for that eye guideline, I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit more. We're gonna start with the right eye. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring out this eye here, and then round it down at the bottom, and then bring up this part of the eye. All right, so they're kind of like an almond shape, but she's got really thick eyelash, eyelash line. She doesn't have eyelashes, but she has a really thick eye line. All right, so we're gonna go off to the side, leave a little bit of distance, come off to the side right here. To do the exact same thing so it looks very simple like almost like a sunrise on the horizon but we're gonna bring up the corner on the left side a little bit bring this around bring it to a corner here same here they just look like simple sunsets all right now the thing about Bo Peep's eyelashes is they're very thick thick eyelash line and it's actually gonna go outside of that face structure that we made, so really thick on the outside. Same over here. You're going to actually bring it out to the side because she is all ceramic. So it comes to right there, really thick eyelash line. So that's her eyelash line. We're going to kind of come into and give her a little bit of an eyelid, couple eyelid lines. So it's very thick thick, thick eyelash. Same over here, a little bit of eyelid here. All right, very thin eyebrows. You're gonna come up off to the side. Very thin, so it's just very pencil thin. You're gonna just do the same over here. And she's got a little bit of an attitude. This is her power pose, so we're just going to give her a little bit of a crease down eyebrow of determination look. Very thin, keep that good old eyelid line. Now we're gonna jump inside because she's looking off in the distance, so we're gonna go leave a lot of room and 
circle upward back into the eyelash line for her pupil iris area. And jump over here. Leave a lot of white space. clean up a little bit of the guidelines we see that we still have a lot of white space in her eyes you're not going to go ahead and give her a light in her eye over here you're just going to go ahead and fill in a pupil area and go right up into that eyelash line and then you're just going to leave a little bit of a shine right here you're going to go ahead and fill in this pupil area as well Thing about her eyes, you want to make sure that they're nice and round. So we come to the corner, but that bottom line should be nice and round. Same thing over here, comes to that corner and nice and round at the bottom and goes up. Now for her nose, we still have this. She doesn't really have a nose line, she just has like a little tiny nose. So that circle we made out just a little bit that little bit of a point and we're not going to define it too much because she is a glass ceramic doll so all you're going to do is just shade the bottom so if you get rid of the rest of that circle that guideline and just keep this little guideline here that's all you're going to do and you can actually get rid of a couple of the rest of the guidelines going down into it and around the eyes i'm going to leave this bottom mouth guideline just for her mouth so coming down below her nose, you're just going to, it's not too complicated, you're just going to make like that dip in her lip, and make a little small dimple. She doesn't have that big of defining lips, so I'm just going to make it one thick line on the upper part. to the corners we bring up this side because it's a three-quarter turn so we're seeing more side of the lips as opposed to the other. Ready? And then I'm actually going to go ahead and bring this part down. So I jump from the bottom, bring it down, and go right back up and you round that up. So you go down and round it up and I'm just going to color this in lightly. Because it's all one shade, it's a very nude color of lipstick or lip color. Now, we need the shape of her face a ton to make her actually look a little bit more normal. From her eyelid, we're going to keep this flat spot. So her eyelash line should still be coming outwards. So coming out to the side right here, you're going to bring out her face just a little bit. Go outside of her lips shape the, up this part right here round off that chin really round kind not pointy at all I'm gonna round it off just a little bit and actually her face is has a really weird face where she doesn't exactly have like a jawline she's a doll so it's okay then you're actually on the same eye guideline we have. I still have a little bit over here. I'm going to go ahead and she does have like a rather interesting big ear. Bring out that side. And since she's a doll, ceramic doll, she doesn't really have too much of defined lines. You're just going to kind of shade in. So I jumped inside of the ear. And bring out like the ear low right here. And that's it that eyebrow a little bit more angrier darken it up go now for her hair you're actually a, so she does have a little bit of a part right here but she has that big bow so I'm gonna go right diagonal from her eye and we're gonna make like a part here because what's going to happen is this part of her hair is gonna swoop down go outside of her forehead round it up so from this part right here, you're actually going to round it down, go outside, not too far, and then right back down. And you're actually, we're just going to kind of bring it down, and her big bow is going to be going over all of this, but we're just going to round it down, and back behind her ear, and then from back here, you're going to have her little ringlets, so it's going to go out back, 
go back into her neck. And we only see two, so she's going to go right here. So there's her ringlet. And there's not too much defining them, so everything's really smooth because she's glass. Now for her bow, we're going to go above her ear. We're going to make the square part, the middle part of her bow first. And then we're going to go up, right alongside of that part that we created, and we're going to go right back in. So up, go in, then we're going to go up over here, curve this in, and curve right back into that middle part. Now let's define the bow a little bit more. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these guidelines in the middle. In the middle of the bow, you're going to go ahead and make that famous like bow crease and you're going to kind of shade that in. Alright, and then I'm going to jump in the middle and it creates that middle part of the folding fabrics. Go underneath. Alrighty, now I'm going to jump in the middle on this side, bring out this side, kind of create that. So we always have the bows. When we draw bows, we have like two definitive little creases of the folding and the fabric. And then this one's more turned towards us, so it's kind of like more open at the fold. Go in and make that look a little bit more natural because it is just like a regular hair bow that she found from a kid. I'm just gonna like. And we have that little part of the, like the ponytail part, the rubber band part, coming up and resting on top of her head. Now, let's go ahead and clear up like the guidelines inside of her bangs. Because inside of her bangs, she does have like a couple of spots to just signify some bang parts that they are like curled up bangs. So they're just like one, two, three, four. And just a little bit of definition here too. Just round this down underneath the bow. There we go. Now coming down to her neck from her chin, you're just gonna go ahead and bring out that neck part. And you're gonna jump down to the side as well, bring out this neck part. Now right here at the bottom of her neck, we're gonna create a circle because this is her cape that also if you've seen the movie, it acts as her skirt. So this is like a little bit of like a button that she stole and then she sewed on. So we have her little cape, we're gonna make a circle and it's a little flower button. So you're gonna go around the circle and just give it some little flower petals, nothing too fancy. And you could jump inside and give a couple of like strings that she sewed onto it. I'm just gonna define here. I'm gonna bring out her cape right here, bring it out to the side and bring this down. And then one side of her cape is going over her shoulder, so we start from underneath the button. And there's one side of her cape, and then we jump off to the side. And this part is rounding into her ringlets, going into her ringlets. And it comes out this way, and it's going right back in to her button. Then from where we made her torso right here, you're gonna bring out her chest just a little bit more. So I'm gonna bring it out, go through the cape. And you're actually gonna curve underneath right here, going into the button. So you curve that out, and then you bring out this side a little bit, and curve this in. Now she has this fun design going down from right here where we kind of went underneath this little button. You're gonna go in, bring it down, and then we have her little pink belt. I'm gonna curve this down right here. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and jump in here and just separate that. Now for this design on her dress or her like her overalls now, like not overalls, it's like a jumpsuit. All right, you're actually gonna go in, you're gonna make flower petals all the way down, just 
Just make this as simple as possible. And then from over here, you're gonna bring from her chest, this line right here, you're actually gonna bring out the flower petals all the way. I'm gonna give her this guy line. There we go. So bring this out. Then, if you know how to do simple mermaid scales, start from the bottom where her pink belt is. And you're gonna go up. All right, and then what you do is you jump in. Very simple pattern. And up on top of that, it's just like a really interesting, make sure it's wide enough. like gumdrops stacked up on each other. Go all the way to the top. So starting with this arm right here, she does have a bandage, and you'll see why when you watch the movie. So at the top of her arm that's kind of hidden back here, we're going to bring the bandage all the way over. Nothing too fancy, and then you're going to jump down into this hand. So we're just going to bring out that upper arm just a little bit, see how I bring it out. We're going to round it down into her wrist. Now she has really dainty fingers, so you're just gonna make like the basic shape, the bottom of her hand. All right, and you're gonna curve inwards because in her hand she has her staff. So I'm gonna bring up the staff just a little bit, her little sheep staff. So we have one finger that's like curling down over it. Alrighty, so you see I curl down over it, just you're gonna draw right through if you need help and guidance. Draw on top of that, and for her thumb, it goes out. Define it a little bit, and then back in. So this is going behind her, so I'm actually gonna just draw right through Bo. So one side of my staff is gonna go right up and over her shoulder. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing that we did on the other side. So it comes to a curl, I'm gonna go all the way in the corner. So you go up from here, curve it around. It goes in, it's kind of like a fish hook almost. So curve it around. And it goes in like a horseshoe. I'm gonna go right back in. and go right back to her hand. And I'm just gonna stop right there. So this is, the staff is behind her. So I can go ahead and get rid of the guidelines we just used to draw through her to make sure our staff was even. So I'm gonna bring out her hips just a little bit more. So one side's gonna go out, and then this side's gonna go out. Now for this arm on this side, we see a little bit of her sleeve right here and it's just like the flat, so for right here where we made this part of her torso, it's just like little flower petals on the side. I'm gonna bring down this arm, 
keep that same thickness we started off with and then you're going to keep bringing out this arm. I'm going to bring it out just a little bit more. And this hand is just kind of resting to the side. So you're going to start, I'm going to square it off her hand. And one thumb is just kind of resting off to the side. You circle in, and I'm just going to circle down into a finger. So you circle down into a pointer finger, and the other fingers just kind of rest on the side. She is a doll, so you don't have to go too crazy. Bring out pinky just a little. And there's her hand just resting to the side, and she actually has another bandage right above her wrist. So it goes right here. Right. Then for her cape, finishing off her cape, I'm going to jump back to her left shoulder. So from this part, we can actually go ahead and erase all these parts in here. Because we have one part of her cape that's folding in off to the side. This goes down. Bring it down. And it should be going into her body. And then this part, bring out this side. You want to just create a couple of folds to make it look more natural because it is not glass. It's actually fabric. Bring it down. cape should be like going behind her and it's kind of folding in towards her hand so where her leg is and you've got the same flower pattern that's at the bottom of her cape so it's just all bunched up and you can go ahead and create a couple of like little flowers you can actually see the inside of the cape, which is actually what her dress is. And you can kind of go in and draw a couple of the actual polka dots. I'm going to go around and just shape up a couple of things and just erase a lot of these guidelines. Since she is a ceramic doll, if you want to go in and shade up her face just a little bit underneath her hair. Like if you just start the shading alongside her face. Just shade a little here and give her a little bit of like a darker blush area underneath because she still has her painted blushy cheeks. A little bit of blush over here too. And I'm just going to shade up underneath the bow and underneath her hair right here. Underneath her neck. Little bit of space above and just kind of shade on top of her hair here and then I'll shade back behind her hair in her purple cape. I'm 
go around and shape up a couple of things and just erase a lot of these guidelines. Since she is a ceramic doll, you want to go in and shade up her face just a little bit underneath her hair. And if you just start the shading alongside her face. a little here and give her a little bit of like a darker blush area underneath because she still has her painted blushy cheeks. A little bit of blush over here too. Go in, I'm just going to shade up underneath the bow and underneath her hair right here. underneath her neck so I'm going to leave a little bit of space above and just kind of shade on top of her hair here and then I'll shade back behind her hair in her purple cape. I almost forgot she's got like a rope around. You're just gonna go around and just make a couple of lines across. It's just like a rope that's on her bow staff. There you guys go, there's how to draw Bo Peep from Toy Story 4. She was awesome, guys. It was great to see her again, to see her reunited with Woody. It's a really awesome movie. If you haven't seen it yet, go see it. I'm gonna already plan to take my husband to see it with me again because I went with my best friend. But yes, guys, have a most wonderful day. Go see Toy Story 4, it's just so good. And to go cuddle with all your toys. Have a most wonderful day. <laughs>